Let's get some more now on UKIP's attempt to force MP Douglas Carswell to fight a by-election after he resigned from the party yesterday. Mr Carswell says he intends to stay in his Clacton seat as an independent, but UKIP's former leader Nigel Farage told Sky News this morning that the party will ask voters if they want him to stand down. Earlier, Sky's Neil Patterson spoke to UKIP's current leader Paul Nuttall and he asked him how he felt when he was informed of Mr Carswell's resignation by text message. Well, isn't it disappointing that I had to find out, as the leader of the party, via a text from a friend and not from Douglas himself? So I do have problems about the way uh, the resignation was enacted. Uh, you know, I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed when anyone leaves UKIP, whether that's at grassroots level or whether it's at parliamentary level. However, I'm not surprised Douglas and UKIP have been drifting apart for quite a while now. Uh, I want to take UKIP into the post-Brexit era. He seems far more at home uh, with Theresa May, and he trusts Theresa May when it comes to the Brexit negotiations. We in UKIP don't. We believe she's very good at talking the talk, but she will fail when it comes to walking the walk, and that's why UKIP will be the, uh, the, uh, the, the guard dogs of Brexit, with or without Douglas Carswell. Uh, Mr Carswell's rationale, his stated rationale, if we say that, for, for departing the party, is that now that the vote has been won, that the referendum uh, was passed and we are going to be coming out of the EU, uh, UKIP, a one-trick pony, no longer has a reason to exist. I, I, I suppose you disagree with that. Well, I'm completely bamboozled by those comments because although UKIP might have been a single-issue pressure group ten years ago, it certainly wasn't a single-issue pressure group when Douglas defected to UKIP in 2014. The manifesto which Douglas stood on in 2015 as a UKIP candidate and won his seat in Clacton was a comprehensive manifesto with a full ref raft of domestic policies. So to suggest now that UKIP should somehow shut up shop because we've achieved uh, the referendum, the Brexit result, although we don't actually have Brexit because we in UKIP don't trust Theresa May on this issue. I think it's a bit farcical, actually, for Douglas to suggest this. Yeah, but without a, an elected representative in Parliament, without any representation in the Commons, what exactly can you yeah. do beyond handing out flyers and holding rallies? <laughs> well, do you know what? Uh, we forced the then British Prime Minister, David Cameron, into giving us a referendum back at the beginning of 2013. Yeah, but that was because UKIP he was worried about losing votes to you. That's not a concern the, the Conservatives have anymore. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I, no, it should be. You know, UKIP is still on 12% in the opinion polls. Our membership is still going up. We've got big local elections coming up in May. And politics will return onto our turf. And we will be at Theresa May's heels in the future. We will be the guard dogs of Brexit. And when she starts to barter things away, whether that's fisheries or a membership fee or a divorce settlement, UKIP will be there to ensure that Brexit really does mean exit. Uh, all of which uh, means it's, it's little surprise that you're calling for a by-election to be held in Clacton. I mean, I've, I've been piecing through uh, my copy of Erskine May, which I keep under the news desk, and I find absolutely nothing in there that suggests <laughs> that a by-election needs to be called uh, when someone resigns from a political party. Quite the opposite, in fact. So on what basis do you think a by-election should be held? On Douglas's actions in the past, when Douglas resigned from the Conservative Party and joined UKIP, he said it was the right thing to do to call a by-election when someone leaves a political party. We're going to hold him at his word on this one. What we want to see is a by-election. UKIP will be uh, nominating a candidate for Clacton very soon indeed, probably this week. And come on, let's put this to the test. Let's man up and see where this one goes. And Douglas has always talked about uh, recall when he's been in the House of Commons, and that's when uh, constituents can recall an MP if they're not happy with him. Well, we're going to ask his constituents whether they're happy with him. And if a good number of people come back and say, look, we want a by-election, we believe that that by-election should happen. Paul Nuttall speaking to Neil Patterson there. This is Sky News coming up in the sport. We'll have the latest from England and the rest of the World Cup qualifying.